Alright, hey you guys, this is Rocky Swag and I'm coming to you with my review of Death Parade Episode 6, Cross Heart Attack in this episode. Oh my goodness. This episode was hilarious, but I will say I do not like Jim T. I mean, I just don't, I don't know. I don't like the way he goes about things. Even though Dekium is like a soulless being that has no emotion whatsoever he's still in my opinion he's better than Genty because Genty is just mean for absolutely no apparent reason like he just has a hatred for human beings <laughs> I understand he's an arbiter and he's supposed to judge them but you don't have to be that hateful so and also if no one else noticed um Mayu I have a feeling that she's going to stick around she might not get sent to the void or reincarnation because you see her in the opening so I, I don't know about Harada but I think that Mayu is going to be sticking around so yeah this whole episode it was it was pretty freaking awesome like they pretty much had to play twister of death but I mean it was just Harada and Mayu Mayu is freaking hilarious she had me rolling literally the whole episode like she was just so freaking funny and like she showed up late first and then she when she found out that it was Harada that she was going to be playing with she was flipping out and Harada of course like Harada was pretty much like she's not my type blah 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 whatever whatever or whatever so they were about to start playing Jinty being the butthole that he was literally just pretty much said here's the game go at it they really didn't give much of an explanation or nothing he was just looking at a magazine that was pretty much telling them telling him about their lives so he started playing and they were playing twister and stuff and they were doing pretty good and then of course Gen T being the arbiter that he is he pretty much had to I mean the whole point of their this game or the bars is them determining who to send to the void and who to send to reincarnation, blah, 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 whatever. So, of course, they were going to have to up the ante, and he pressed the little button on his little clicker, and it turned all of the circles into different things, like green was wind, blue was ice, red was fire, and yellow was, like, a question mark. So they started playing, and they, like, first, um... Mayu, she put her hand on the red one and it literally looked like they were about to melt. And then um, they put their hand on green. Well, Harada put his hand on the green one, which was um, like air. And then um, put their hand on, I mean, um, Mayu put her hand on um, blue, which was um, ice. And of course, while all this is happening, they're slowly remembering stuff like, of course, Mayu remembers Harada because she said she went to his concerts and she was just a huge fan of his and blah, blah, blah. So of course she knew him, but he didn't know her because, I mean, he was an idol. He's an idol where they live, where she lives. So um, while all this is happening, she, and there was even at one point, her underwear was shown to him and he was like, they were intertwined in some interesting positions while playing this game and Harada was showing off of course because he's an idol he's supposed to show off so they were playing and things were going great and uh, like I said then um Jinty up the ante and then when they finally like first they started when they put their well when um Mayu put her hand or foot on the blue circle and they started freezing Harada couldn't even move at one point and he was like frozen to himself and Mayu she had like a, a snot droplet frozen from her nose and they just it was it was interesting and Harada he just like busted out of the ice he didn't have no clothes on and he's the first anime character I've seen in all my days that actually has nipples I was confused <laughs> that sounds hilarious but I was confused I really was I was not prepared in the slightest for that one but um, after he put his foot on the yellow circle and they hit the question mark, the floor fell from under them and you could see like spikes at the bottom of a pit and it was pretty much like, um, whoever fell first lost cause they were going to fall to their death pretty much. So they were thinking and, um, Mayu right before that, she said she had to use the bathroom. She needed to take a break, blah, blah, blah. And of course, Dinti was like, no. So... Um, she was like, I really have to pee. I don't think I can do this anymore. And Harada was thinking about pushing her. And then he 
but while all this is happening, he was thinking about going back to his girlfriend, Lisa, but it was mentioned that, well, even Mayu said that she had always been a fan of his every, even when she was sad or down, she would listen to their music and it would make her feel better. And she just, she was saying thank you for always being there to pick her up and blah, blah, blah. So while Harada was thinking about pushing her, she was contemplating just letting go so that way he could live. So she was like, thank you. Just thank you for always being there. And then she was about to let herself go and Harada caught her. And he was like, no, I can't let you do this. Because at that point he had remember he was like dating this girl and he broke up with her and she slapped him. And he was like... He said I'm sorry I said I'm sorry and then it turns out that she committed suicide which was really sad <laughs> that really has to suck and they showed him like when he saw that she committed suicide he was like crying he was like no I didn't want this to happen blah 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 and he was like I'm not going to let this happen again he was saying this to Mayu and he was like I'm not going to let this happen again so he saved her like he was literally hanging himself holding onto her hand he was like no I can't let you go um you have to promise me that you're going to come to one of my concerts again and he was like promise me promise me and she was like yeah and then she slipped out of his hand and she was falling and then she remembered herself dying so while she was falling to her death she remembered she was like singing to her cat and she slipped on a bar of soap and broke her neck I don't know if that's funny or a really messed up way to die. I honestly don't know. It was really sad. I really wasn't expecting her to die like that. So while she was falling, she was like, oh, I'm dead. And then when she hit the spikes, it was like, it was like a little like jelly ball. So um, like while all that was happening, um, Harada finally saw how he died. And um, Lisa had left his hotel room she was like, I'm leaving now, blah, blah, blah. So um, he saw that there was like a tray sitting in his room and he lifted the the um, the cover and it was a bomb and it said, for my sister. So it was like, for my sister, whatever her name was, which, and then it, of course, blew up in his face. So that was how he got killed, which was kind of scary and sad. So they both remembered how they died and um, Genty was like, so yeah, now you remember that you're dead, blah, blah, blah. And, um... Mayu just started freaking out and she was like I need a chain of clothes everything came out when I was falling blah 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 so I need clothes my panties are dirty and wet and yeah so Genty was like what kind of human are you what are, why are you thinking about that you're dead right now so why are you concerned <laughs> why are you concerned about soiling yourself but <laughs> so after that um he gave her a chain of clothes um and Harada was only concerned about being dead. He was like, how can I be dead, blah, blah, blah. And he was touching um, Jinty's dolls. And Jinty was like, don't touch that, blah, blah, blah. So Mayu came out and she had washed her face and she had on a kimono. And Harada was like, you're my type. You're my type. <laughs> and then, of course, at the end, oh my gosh, Clavis got so many points for what he did at the end. Because at the end... Rada finally put on some clothes and he was about to start like performing for them and um Dekium and the assistant were there and Clavis and um Jinty and of course Mayu and Mayu was sitting right up front cheering and she was like shaking Jinty. Jinty was just so angry because like Mayu being happy makes him angry which I thought was hilarious and they were about to start performing and Clavis he, he posed like a boss. I was really just was not prepared for that. Clavis became my new my new favorite character after that so yeah it looks like Mayu is gonna be sticking around which is freaking awesome but I was kind of hurt because they didn't even say who went where like but like I said it looks like Mayu's gonna be sticking around so you don't have to worry about her but they didn't even say where Harada went because Harada was about to push her but then he saved her so I don't I don't know I don't know where that would put him at but yeah this episode was awesome oh my goodness really just was not prepared so it looks like things are about to get really interesting. So even though I don't like Gen T, this episode was actually really awesome. There was really no, like, sadness. Nothing sad or drastic happened. It was just fun. I like the fun death parade. So yeah. So as always, I would love to hear how you guys felt about this episode. How do you feel about the way things turned out? But please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me a whole lot. And this is Suzaki Swag. Saying adios.